Hello, good morning. Today we're going to talk about some classroom organization hacks. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention um, my classroom is not like one of those beautiful, perfectly organized Pinterest perfect classrooms. It is, you know, pretty clean. I was going to say clean, but my um, projector is broken. So currently I just have stuff like all over the board. So I'm going to not say clean, but it is fairly organized. It is fairly pretty, but it's not like, you know what I mean? When you see those classrooms and you're like, whoa, like that's not even real. Um, no, mine is a very realistic classroom. <laughs> um, but with that being said, I do have a couple of little organizational hacks that have really helped me and I wanted to share with you. So let's get started okay hack number one is for my focus wall and that is these clothespins so these clothespins are actually hot glued to a push pin which makes it really really easy to stick them here on your board and that way anytime i need to change the i can statements or the standards i just have to pull them off the clothes pin and i don't actually have to use a push pin on these the other thing i like is that then the push pin is not um on the outside and i just feel like that's a little bit safer right Yes. Um, these just happened to be, my grandmother gave me some clothespins that had like a whole bunch of numbers and letters and stuff. So that worked out like perfectly for me. Um, but you could always, of course, like buy some foam letters or print out some letters and add them to your clothespins if you want to do that as well. These I can statements and standards, by the way, are available on my TPT shop. So I will link those down below. I also use the clothespin hacks in other places. I use them here on this cabinet and I hang my anchor charts here. It's only the first week of school, so I don't have it. So they're all kind of in the front and I don't have much over here. And I also use them in the back of my classroom to hang up my instruments of the orchestra banner. So you can see it's hot glued up there on the cinder blocks. And I've gotten questions. Yes, the hot glue comes off of the cinder blocks. I would not do that on drywall. If you wanted to do this hack on drywall, I would use a command strip and put the clothespin up with the command strip and then you can hang it just like it is hung here. All right, tip number two is for bulletin boards. So if you don't have enough bulletin board space or you just have awkward space, one thing you can do is buy these really cheap poster boards from Target. These, I think it was like 94 cents or something. And then you can add anything that you need to. Um, I did mine laminated so that if kids, you know, smear something or if, you know, just to keep them a little sturdy or a little safer. And so I just have those up with, I think I hot glued these last year. I used command strips. Um, but that allowed me to have a couple of little word wall stations and kind of separate them by type. These again, I'll just I'll just link all the classroom decor stuff down below because I do have the classroom instruments and the orchestral instruments over there and the word wall and all that kind of stuff. Another way to get extra bulletin board space is by making these. So this is just a piece of foam that's pretty large. You could do smaller, of course, and it's just covered in fabric. And then there is a ribbon hot glued to the top and I just hung it on these screws that have been here since before I got here and no one ever bothered to take out. Also, don't don't be alarmed by the lovely paint job that was done in here um they only painted like half you can see it over here really well they painted half and stopped and then like yeah we're, we're we just pretend it's not there um so that is a really easy and a simple hack as well Right, next up command hooks so i have command hooks on the side of this bookshelf and what i do is i just add little binder clips to anything that i am using so i need to actually pull these off and grab ones that i'm using more often um so just anything that i'm using often during a week i will put on a binder clip and then just hang them right there I also use command hooks on a um, filing cabinet and I use clipboards to hang things. So I have a calendar, I have um, just other important information and down there I have a couple other ones that I'm not going to show you because it's like, you know, people who work here and stuff like that. Um, but you could also use this hack for student work if you wanted to hang some clipboards up on a board or on a wall and then you could put student work in here and easily switch it out. 
Okay, number three is my turn it in basket. So these baskets, I think I got from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of those places, but you can also purchase them usually at Michael's, sometimes at Dollar Tree, like everywhere pretty much. Oh, and Target. I saw actually the same color at Target. So what I have is just two that are the same size but one is deeper so i just put the shorter one on top and so what happens is anytime the kids have anything to turn in they turn it in up here if they come try to hand it to me i just point to the basket and they come turn it in here then when that class is over i put a binder clip on it and i stick it underneath so that then i have all the classes separated the other thing you could do is what i have right here is extras so if you have extras of whatever you are making you can stick it in the bottom one and that just keeps things really nice and organized okay, i don't know if this counts as an organizational hack but i love it so i wanted to tell you anyway um these are little push lights that i got off of amazon i think it was ten dollars for five of them and so i hung them here they're sticky on the back so i just stuck them up and they are our voice levels so when the kids are like doing group work i put it on talk if they're supposed to be singing we put it on singing um or if they're supposed to be quiet we put it on listen and we don't use it like all the time but it is helpful like especially as a reminder if a certain class is having a hard time remembering that it's very nice to have that little extra thing and also it's just cool i also bought some of these for my house and um hung them up in my office so there's that <laughs> this one's not quite as much organization but more just like I don't even know, um, making life easier. So I bought some of these lap desks from Michael's. I will link them down below. They were like $7. They also have them at Target for like $5, but you have to be able to find them in the dollar spot. And I've been using them for my glockenspiels. So glockenspiels are really short. So if you put them on the ground, they're kind of hard to play. And I found it was so much easier to play them just raised up a little bit. And then I added, um, just stuck the mallets over there in the side, which makes it so, so easy to keep track of where they go and make sure that they're not like flying all over over the floor. Next up, let's talk triangles. Triangles have always presented an odd organizational problem to me. I could never quite figure out what to do with them. And so finally, I just like this magically occurred to me the other day. Um, I put these in a magazine rack. You could also do um, something bigger if you have more, but this works like perfectly. If I get any more, I'm going to need something bigger. Um, and so all I did is put the triangles over here. I put all the beaters in a cup and then in another cup that's slightly bigger, I put all the rubber bands so that when we are doing them, I just pull this out and I can, you know, kind of assembly line it. But when they're all done, everything is together and it's in a nice narrow little space and the the rubber bands are not like getting all over the place. Next up, um, have somewhere that you can put all of your stuff. So I have this card that I got from Target. I'll link it down below. They have a ton of them. They have them at Michaels and Ikea and like all the places. Um, but I got my husband to print out some um, letters for my name in case the kids forget my name and also no one will steal my cart and so I use this cart for everything it has pretty much anything that I will need so I always make sure my seating chart is on it my clipboards I have pens I have pencils I have just anything I'm gonna need and so I always know that anytime I am going to put something down I always put it on the clipboard on the cart so that I do not forget where it is if I put it anywhere else it gets lost so this I could roll around so if I want to be in the front I can put it in the front. If I want to be in the back, I can be in the back. If I have to go to a classroom, I can take it with me. But everything is just like together and I have a spot to put something every single time. Next up is have crayon boxes. So instead of having just like a whole bucket full of crayons that kids are, you know, like sharing and stuff like that, which is fine. Um, my suggestion is to give every kid a box full of crayons. Now, as you can see, these are not matching crayons. They're just ones I threw in here. So typically I am able to get like the bigger ones um, either from my school or from you know, sometimes I go buy them myself, but I bought these new, you can see those are old ones. I do not recommend them. Don't buy them. Buy these. They're a dollar a piece, but they are so worth it. I got them from Michael's. They come in a couple of different colors and they're clear so you can see through them, which is really nice. And lastly, just as a little tip, I recommend everyone have a basket of just kind of like things that you need to deal with. Um, so this basket holds um, books that we're reading soon. Um, if I have anything that needs to go away and what I do is I have this basket is like, I'll put graded papers in here, 
um, I'll put like papers I need to grade in here. I'll put things I need to do. And then once they're done, I move them to actually this basket, which needs to be cleared out because it currently has a monkey in it. Um, and I'll put them there. And then that is like my needs to be put away basket. And so I know that usually at the end of the week, I will take that basket and I will go put any of that kind of stuff away. All right, friends, I hope that was helpful. I would love to hear your favorite classroom organization hacks down below. And also I will link a video that is my classroom tour. So if you just want me to like show you everything around, we talk about all the different stuff in the classroom, then we can do that. So with that, I am going to go clock in and start the day and I will see you next time. Bye.